Hi guys and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory. Today we're going to be doing draft. We do two drafts a week and this is going to be the first one. Uh, obviously, if you missed yesterday's video, guys, it was the SBC rewards, uh, which we were able to make a little bit of coin from and uh, sell a lot of stuff off. Marata sold for just over 10k. Um, we got Faru as well, 650. Probably minimum price and a lot of the players. Lost money on that one without even realising. Um, also, Rigoni selling for a thousand coins. Him 450, 350, 650, and you can see the rest of the prices of the players which did sell guys nothing um out of the ordinary with me listing things up on the transfer market um but hopefully uh, we can get rid of a lot of this stuff and uh, this stuff probably not actually thinking about it we'll try and list it anyway it may go so if you guys do want msp psn codes or cheat game codes go and check out g2a.com their link is down below if you're trying to hit over 4,000 likes that'd be absolutely brilliant and guys subscribe to me if you're not subscribed already so we are risking it but i'm wanting to take it over 500k today um and I think I'm going to go with a 4 one 2, one, two narrow uh, in this formation. It's one I seem to like, and obviously wingers-wise, it doesn't help. We do get Lionel Messi, but we do get or uh, Aguero, uh, Lukaku, Neymar. So three wingers and two strikers. So I'm going to go with uh, with Aurier. Aurier? What am I even on about? Uh, with Sergio Aguero up front. Next to him, Daniel Sturridge. Gray. Or Hernandez. Um, or Ricardi, actually. But Ricardi's got a better card. But Argentina might be hard. So I'll go with Daniel Sturridge uh, from Liverpool. In the camp position, Valero. See, it would have been good to go with the Inter player. But we have got an English. We've got two. We've got Sigurdsson. And we've got Wayne Rooney. And I think I'm going to go choose Wayne Rooney for, for that pick. I know a lot of people may have chose Sigurdsson over him. But uh, I like Wayne Rooney in the camp position. We get Wijnaldum, who's going to be a straight pick for the strong link to Daniel Sturridge. Because uh, I don't really want to go full BPL. And then on the other side, we don't have any Argentinians. We have got Tolisso and Parolo. So I'm going to go with Tolisso. Swap them two round. And uh, hopefully, maybe try and get a Bayern Munich link. We get Jordan Henderson. We do get a City player, actually. Uh, for a strong link to to Sergio Aguero. He's got an inform as well. So Henderson, or even Gaye. Let's go with Gaye um, over that choice. I don't want to go full BPL, but if I can not do that, that would be sick. We get Alba. Alba, Marcelo, Alex, Sandro. Let's try and go. Let's go Jordi Alba there. And then centre back, can we get <laughs> we do get we do get one. Uh we get a strong link. Next centre back. Sacco, Smalling, Martinez. We've got Martinez. Smalling would offer us one link. Um actually I need another Everton player. So I might go with I might go with Chris Smalling. Uh now. Uh just to get that link to Gai. And then in right back, we get Serge Aurier, uh, who, whose name I've been repeatedly shouting anyway. We get Serge Aurier there. And then goalkeeper, De Gea. Forster, Casilla. Um, Casilla or Forster. Let's go with Casilla uh, over that pick. And obviously, I've got maybe two or three players I want to take out. Probably should have stuck with full BPL. So we've got Edison, uh, who I will take. Uh, one of the best keepers I, I've used in draft anyway. Kulabale, Danilo. Kulabale, Semedo. Uh, doesn't really make a difference, does it? So I'll go with Danilo, even though he probably won't even get a look in, in the team. Unless I play him left back. Uh, Ward, Debucci. Let's go with Debucci. I don't know why. And now we're moving to the midfield picks, which are really rough as well. Not really anyone I want to put into the team. That, that actually the final pick probably would have been better. Um, we get another, we get another player there. Um, this isn't looking good, is it? Striker? Do we get an an, an all star striker? We do get Sanchez. Maybe I might be able to get away with him. He'd be on seven chem at striker, wouldn't he? I might think about putting him him in, him in actually. Uh, to see how he does. Um, you get Salah, Draxler, Leon, and Souza. Hamdanovic won't get a look in currently. Uh, so I'll take Mohamed Salah. A very good player. We've not had our silver pick yet, but I'm looking for some central midfielders. We've got Musonda, who, to be fair, I could play there on 7 chem now. Takes us to 100. And now we've got a few more picks to go. Rami, Pedro. Uh, let's go. 
I think we're alright actually. Uh, let's go. Let's go, Pedro. Three picks, and we're gonna get the silver. Right, Ronaldo, Lewin, Benzema, uh, Lewin wouldn't work. Dybala wouldn't work either. So I'm gonna go with Ronaldo. Two more picks to go. Payet. No centuries, not really throwing any central midfielders, mate. We do get a BPL left back actually. So I might go with him. And then the final one is the silvers. So I screwed up a tad bit. Um, but I think I might have pulled it back a little bit as well. So we got a BPL left back. We took a BPL goalkeeper as well, didn't we? There. And then, like, he would work. I would rather play Aurier. How big is Aurier? It's 5'9". Danilo is six foot. So we go with it like that. It is a full BPL team. It doesn't look the best. Let's see if I can start. A, I knocked it down by two. Um, Because I've already got a few players off, off chemistry anyway. But we've got Salah, Pedro, Ronaldo. Alba. We've got a few decent players to bring on and make the difference anyway. And uh, we'll bring Taliso into there. So that should take it up to an 80. Stick it at an 83. Sticks at an 83. Bog standard BPL team. Um, and to be fair, we do get Pellegrino as well. So we could actually... Do I just stick with it like that? I think I'll just stick with it like that and go with it. Right, guys. That's it. Done. Let's go and get into the draft. See how we do. And fingers crossed we can go four wins on the row and uh, not actually lose this time round, which is what happened in the previous two drafts we played. So guys, moving on into the first draft, and uh, obviously not the first draft, sorry, the first opponent. And we're coming against Eden Hazard, Morata, Pedro. Decent front three. Three at the back, though. Always can prove an issue if you're not very competent in defence. And that's not taking shots at my opponent. That's, I think it's everyone. Like, I'm not very competent in defending. You guys have seen that over the weekend league and uh, maybe so a few other instances uh, in which I have been playing uh, FIFA and uh, frankly guys my opponent dropped me with Alderweireld in the area and uh, results in Rooney putting the penalty underneath the keeper which is obviously icon to Michael and putting us 1-0 up very very nice finish uh, from Wayne Rooney and uh, definitely a player which I probably I would put I'd say that I definitely made you guys think I don't know if you watch the video, I think maybe you guys will think that I've maybe maybe made the right choice. Daniel Sturridge linking with Wijnaldum. Not really interested in Wijnaldum, but honestly, after stepping up and scoring that goal, realising that he's got a really, really good finish on him, he was doing the business and uh, scoring a brilliant goal there to make it 2-0. The next clip as well, guys, in the 16th minute, breaking through with Sergio Aguero. He, he rounds it, rounds a keeper, makes it 3-0. We were looking for the early rage quick to push on further on into the draft and get us an early victory. Uh, but obviously, we've come a few times recently where we've been sticky point, sticking points. But a bicycle there from Aguero from the corner in 26. I thought that would have been the trigger point for my opponent going. It wasn't. But honestly, what a corner technique that is, guys, with the bicycle into the far corner, beating Schmeichel, a keeper who I've obviously put a lot of... Um, I wouldn't say, yeah, a lot of criticism into him recently and uh, obviously proving it as well. Not even reacting to that shot. 5 0 um, in the first round, and we do, as you can see, he's pressed the start button. We do pick up a nice uh, rage quit and able us to move on further into the draft as we move into the quarterfinals. Quarterfinal opponent, Costa, Mata, Ibora, also Bender, Rodriguez and, uh, is that Cruiser? Uh, I think up front and Plattenhart, Mertesacker, Boateng, Piszczek and uh, Czech. A nice team actually and I think a lot of them players are on full chemistry uh, apart from maybe Plattenhart um, but didn't make a difference guys. In the fourth minute, Aguero puts us one the look um, and... Uh, puts us on good terms to be going forward and getting some more goals but one of the differences between this team and the team who played in the last game the, this player was a lot more competent and uh, was trying a lot more stuff as well nice bit of turn there links it through to cruiser cruiser gets it inside the area uh, and bad defending by me allows him to get not one but two shots off with costa uh, obviously the rebound fell straight to his foot um, makes it 1-1 and uh, game back on. But Daniel Sturridge carrying the ball, looking for the gaps, gets it through to Wijnaldum, who gets his space with the ball roll. Nice finesse shot into the far corner. 2-1 in the 19th and back into the lead. Wijnaldum, honestly, felt really, really good 
in the games of the draft we were playing with him and uh, who knows you may even see him come in deeper for the road to glory linking through to Rooney Rooney makes it 3-1 in the 31st I thought that was game over uh, trying to push him out of it obviously doing the obnoxious celebrations which I like to do to get people out of the draft but this guy um, fair play to him did stay around for the full duration there was a reason why he stayed around for the full duration even after we do make it 4-0 with Ronaldo coming on as a super sub um, I thought that might have been time he goes he didn't um, but after that he started getting his play together. He started getting opportunities. He started getting opportunities I didn't want him to get. As he gets the ball inside the area here, Modric over, takes a shot, deflection off Smalling, did actually send it past the keeper, um, but a good goal nonetheless. 4-2 in the 50th minute, and uh, the comeback was looking like it was going to be on. So we needed to put a fire blanket over that quickly and get it done. And also, guys, I'm going to point out something as well. Um, you guys may have noticed some editing errors within this video. If you have, fair play to you. Um, I'm literally going from a transition currently from my old PC to the new PC. Um, and if you do notice any editing errors, guys, feel free to let me know. As I know I am having a few issues with mainly audio uh, and webcam stuff. Uh, so apologies for you guys uh, which do like perfect videos from me even though we've never done a one perfect video uh, on the channel before 5-3 in this game he comes back but we wanted to kill it and we're able to do so with Aguero getting the ball over to Ronaldo Ronaldo back to Aguero and 6-3 uh, so hopefully with this guys it will help me um, basically try and get some more stuff uh, more videos out and uh, a lot more videos out faster than I want and uh, hopefully the new computer can help me do that so this will be the first video that I do make with the new computer and if you guys do see any issues with it, feel free to let me know. Antonio, Jesus, Blanc, Inform, De Gea, Monreal, Danilo, Klein, Masuaku, Mane. Dangerous looking team. But I think our attack and the way we were playing was pretty good. Ball over to Guerrero. No luck finish. He makes it 1-0 in the second minute. Now we were flying high with this team it was looking good feeling good and honestly a lot of individual players in this team was was brilliant even Wayne Rooney I know a lot of people might not want to use Wayne Rooney but he is a very very good player obviously you are given a chance with the likes of uh, Sturridge and, and Wijnaldum and Aguero and all the other superstars in the team but Wayne Rooney was good, but obviously I did want to substitute him out and bring on Alexis Sanchez uh, and Ronaldo. So that was the 7th minute, 2 0 up, 14th minute, ball over to Wijnaldum. He gets a nice shot off into the bottom corner. If it took a deflection um, off Wayne Rooney, it would have been offside, but thankfully it never. 3 0 in the semi final, and guess what? My opponent uh, does give us our second rage quit out of three games today and uh, an easy move on into the final of the foot draft. The final opponent of today, guys, and we come up against Mbappe, Blanc, Griezmann, to Liso, Kadira, uh, Classy, I think that is. Uh, also, Inform Aspilicueta, The Scare, Vincent Company, which isn't boosted, Bellerin and Reyna as well. Nice caliber of player uh, in there and in a decent formation. We've got the flame kit on as well, which was, I think it was a fireworks kit. I don't know what it's called, but uh, we do make it 1 0. Wijnaldum, again, guys, gets the shot in at the near post and puts us 1 0 up in the 29th minute. My opponent was having a few decent opportunities up until this point, but I thought we were having the better of the ones, and that goal did prove it as we put it in at the near post. Then, continuing into uh, obviously getting the 1 0 lead, pushing towards the second, gaps opening up in his defence, and Ronaldo gets past the defender able to uh, drive it which is pounced out straight to guess who Wijnaldum Wijnaldum makes it 2-0 uh, in the 35th minute I'm curious guys if any of you like use Wijnaldum in your main teams let me know what you think of him has he got any negatives what are his positives because obviously draft doesn't give you that opportunity 3-0 that was going to be game over. I thought at that point he was going to press the start button and disappear, but I was wrong because he waited until later on in the game to do so. And you can see, guys, 76 minutes, we go for a shot, he presses the start button, leaves it, and we get a draft bloody victory. And there we are, guys, back to winning ways and picking up a 3 0 rage quick victory in the final. Now, hoping that we can get a marquee player to take us up some decent coins, obviously 5 0, 6 3, 3 0, 3 0, and we get. Boom, rare gold pack, rare gold pack, premium gold pack. Don't mind the rare gold packs, I actually do like them um, because usually I get very lucky in them, but it could be different today. We get a flare in this pack, an over 83 board. Spanish, right wing, Pedro, 84 rated Pedro. Could sell, um, well, could sell, should sell. Uh, we actually had him in the draft as well, which is pretty nice. So we've got Pedro, curious on his price. Um, 6.8, 5.1. I'll probably sell him when player of the month comes around, but there's a bit of money to be made uh, on him. Uh, Bamiang, uh, sorry, uh, Obiang Ginter. 
and there is that badge with a uh, kit with the uh, witch on it. And now we've got the two rare gold packs. Come on, can we see? Oh, we get a board on this one as well. A walkout, Moroccan centre back, but Benatia, tidy, 84 rated Benatia, uh, 74 pace, 85 defending. Come up against him a few times in the weekend league. And in there with him, I, I think I see Carl Luca down the bottom. But Benatia is like 3k, 4k, 5k. So I might hold on to him uh, for me. Uh, we've also got this stuff as well. And get rid of them, Aquino and Carl Luca. So the next one, we got an 84 and 85. If we can get higher than that, that would be the dream. Can I imagine it? Nope. No ball player. So, is it going to be some Spanish... Right mid, no. Oh, that's terrible. Pedro Leon, 80 rated. Um, I would say more than likely we have made some money back in this draft. We've got some good stuff, but obviously we need to flip it for money. Uh, I can't remember what I did sell and what I sent to the trade pile. Two two things I've actually sold since we listed them up, and they are and Bemba and him. Uh, but yeah, Carl Luca, how much do you go for? 3.4, 1.2. So he starts at about 1.2. So I'll list I'll list him up. Um Aquino. He sells as well. So he's a little bit of money. Castillo. 1.2 for him. So it looks like we've actually made some money on players which are going. Uh, sorry, which I which wouldn't think money can be made from them. Pedro Leon will list up as well. And then we've got that kit. Uh what else? Gareth Redder, how much did he sell for? Compare price, 350. How much did he discard for? I might just discard him for 240 rather than listing him up. And uh, then we've got the balls and the badges as well, like at the start. So that's it done, guys. Bit of a draft done. A bit of money made as well. A few players put into the club. And I think we probably would have gone positive today um, if, in fact, we had sold some players. But I'm looking for the really marquee ones. 5K players aren't really worth selling at the moment because I can use them in SBCs. And who knows, with marquee matchups coming out, um, by you guys listening to this video, I could make some money on them now.